Hey guys, welcome back. Have you ever had one of those days where you're just going along and everything's fine, neutral, or even kind of good? And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you notice there's like a dip in your mood or you're suddenly struck with some sort of feeling of sadness or insecurity or confusion, grief, something you don't love. A flavor of energy sort of rushes through you that is not comfortable. And immediately, because you have a normal, healthy human mind that needs to make meaning of things, you start trying to figure out why. Why did I suddenly feel so bad? And then, <laughs> if you're a normal human with an active, healthy brain, you start going through everything it could be. Is it something I heard? Is it my lack of sleep? Maybe it's something I ate. I heard certain foods, you know, tend to affect my mood. Is it, and then your mind just keeps going on and on and on, trying to pin down what it was that made you suddenly feel sad or suddenly feel anxious or suddenly feel insecure or jealous or anything else that wants to flow through you. If you do that, First of all, you're so incredibly normal and human. That's what minds do. Minds notice something new coming through, like a new flavor of energy, sadness, grief, jealousy, insecurity. And it naturally, it's designed to start making meaning. What does it come from? Where did it come from? What does this mean about me? What does this say about me? And then it just feels worse. All that figuring out, all that pinning down, was it the sleep? Was it the food? Was it whatever it is? Was it something you heard on the news? Was it something subconscious coming up? And then you spin and spin. I wanna suggest that the suffering is in the seeking. The suffering, when those bits of sadness come through or anger and security, the energy itself moving is not your suffering. It's buying into the mind's need to make meaning, to manage it, to control it, to find the source of it. What if you don't need to find the source of a sudden burst of sadness, a sudden burst of anger? What if the only suffering, what if the only thing prolonging it, holding it in place, keeping it from flowing through is buying into the mind's idea that you need to solve for it, that you need to figure out where it came from so that you can pin it down, manage it, and make sure you don't repeat whatever it was that caused it, the sleep, the food, the person, the news channel, whatever it was. What if you could notice the mind doing what all minds do, needing to make meaning of a feeling but you don't have to buy into it. Sometimes I play this little game and I love playing games because I like keeping things light and flowing, upbeat. So you can play with your own games, like play, play around with this. But sometimes when I notice sort of out of nowhere, a feeling of sadness or a feeling of insecurity or confusion, and it doesn't make any sense because really nothing has happened in my day or let's say you wake up, like literally you open your eyes and you're filled with sadness. You can't even figure out why, so you start going into that mind. What if instead, this is what I play with. I imagine that life, this beautiful, intelligent life energy, when I feel that sensation of like a sadness or an insecurity, instead of buying into my mind and trying to figure out why and how or what it means and how can I stop it from happening in the future. I picture life almost like tossing me a ball. You know how kids like toss a ball back and forth and life just saying, hey, I'm going to just toss you this ball. It's like sadness. Can you just hold it for a little while? It has nothing to do with you. It doesn't say anything about you. But if you could just hold it for a little while, maybe give it some love, give it a little pat, toss it up in the air a little bit while you're going about your day, that'd be great. And I noticed that when I do that, instead of trying to figure out why the sadness was there 
or pin it on something, it flows because that's what energy does. It wants to flow through. My 19 year old brilliant daughter Parker taught me this thing that her coach helped her with, with her sort of sticky emotions that pop in out of nowhere. I don't know if the camera can see this, catch the whole thing. Her coach taught her to sort of visualize that when those sticky feelings, those feelings we don't really want to have come about, instead of attaching to it, instead of trying to figure it out or figure out where it came from, visualize it moving through, like here it comes, and it's gonna go through and you're gonna feel it, like, oh, there it is, there's sadness, there's rage, there's insecurity. Almost like you have your arms out like this in a T or a cross. And visualize the energy of that emotion moving through from your right arm, through your chest area, out through your left arm, and then out through your left fingertips, and on it goes. Goodbye. You receive it, you hold it. In my case, in my little game, life tosses me the ball. Hey, hey Missy, here's a quick little ball of um, insecurity. Can you hold it for a minute, please? Sure, I can hold it. I'm gonna do my day. I'm gonna go on with my life, but yes, absolutely. I will hold that ball of insecurity. I don't mind. Or like my daughter Parker, Sometimes I just picture, oh, here it comes. Here it comes through me, through my right fingertips, right through my chest, and I feel it. Oh, there's insecurity, there it is. Ooh. It's fine, and then it moves on. The suffering is in the seeking. The suffering is buying into that mind that says you've gotta figure this out. You've gotta find the source. You've gotta dig around and, and figure it all out. That's the suffering. Otherwise, it's just an emotion. It's just sadness. It's just insecurity. It's just a flavor of energy that wants to move through you. So maybe play around with it, welcome it, feel it, let life toss you the ball, hold on to it, and you can still go about your day. You can still do all the things that light you up, that bring you joy. I hope this has helped a little bit. Play around with it, be lighthearted with it, and let me know what happens. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.